here welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to walk through list and keys in react.js we'll be looking how to access the elements in list and how to use the map function in react.js how to define the keys if you have id in your data or if you don't have any ids in your data then how to describe the keys so let's jump to the code part and explain it in the code so first of all let me create a file here let's simply name is that uh, list uh, key dot chess good and create a function based component now from previous some videos we will be creating class based components uh, i had a reason for that uh, because some methods were not uh, right now useful in function based component because for that we need to ha uh, have knowledge of uh, hooks which we will be going through in the later videos after understanding hooks uh, i'll be walking you through that also okay so first of all uh, in this function based components uh, we'll be declaring a list here and let's say numbers that's a common example that looks good and save it here we'll be describing it inside of an h1 tag and access those numbers but uh, let's check that if it's working or not okay, well let's print npm start we just uh, simply wrote uh, numbers and let's uh, import that function here in our index.js file and list uh, and key yeah so it will be auto importing let's save it let's check if it's running yeah so yes uh, it is all displaying all the elements of the list here but uh, what if i want to process uh, some logic on each of the element La like let's say if i want to process like uh, if the number is uh, even then and then only print it otherwise don't so for that uh, you have to go through each and every element and you have to get access to one element at a time so for that uh, we get uh, we use map function uh, let's say uh, create a new variable here which is number map let's say here we'll be going through numbers numbers dot map and this uh, map function gives you a callback uh, callback is simply a function inside of which uh, you can execute your uh, logic first of all let's uh, print that out let's return something uh, return h1 tag here and inside of that h1 let's print something uh, which is number and let's say here we are getting a n just uh, whatever we are getting here uh, so this callback gives you access to an element uh, each of the element so it will basically run the whole loop uh, as you can say uh, if you are familiar with any other programming language then we used to run a for loop for such type of events so we get access to each of the element like uh, we are iterating through i 0 to uh, n so we get access to 0 1 2 3 1 by 1 so uh, similarly here we are getting access directly to the element here uh, which is n in our case so first of all let's print that out here and and let's uh, run it yeah as you can see here the output is same the same because we have not mentioned here number map I have to mention that and let's print it inside of a div tag only here because uh, ups, uh, upwards we are already writing the h1 tag and let's save it yeah as you can see here uh, it is printing the element one by one so it is uh, displaying it on every new line because it's going through one by one so now let's process it uh, according to uh, if the number is even or odd okay so here what we'll be doing here is uh, if the number which we are getting passed here which is uh, s n so is modulo of 2 is it equals equals to 0 so it's a basic logic of your odd or even number here nothing drastic here and here we'll be returning 
if uh, it is uh, even number then we will be returning the n and printing that inside of h1 else we will be returning here null okay yeah in here we can also return null so let's refresh here so as you can see here uh, it is displaying only uh, even numbers so here we are using a uh, conditional rendering and here we have used map function so map gives you access to uh, each and every element one by one and iterates through the whole list and here you can process uh, any of the logic you want so what if you want don't want to create one new variable and do all of that stuff then you can simply write here the name of the list which is numbers in our case and then do dot and then copy whole this all of this code here and just paste it here that looks good let's remove this and save it let's try to run it as you can see here it's giving us the same uh, output but here's uh, there one error each child in a list uh, should have a unique key prop okay so what he's saying is uh, that uh, each of the element in list uh, should have a key so first of all let me clear this code a bit we'll be just printing uh, let's see that it is up and running yeah so as you can see here 0 1 2 3 4 and now what uh, the error was saying here is that uh, each element in the uh, list should have a unique key so here we have to describe a prop called a key key is equals to a set a value to any of uh, any of the thing you want here uh, but uh, here we'll be setting the key to uh, n only because uh, n is unique right now right now it's unique uh, yes keep in mind that one thing right now it's unique and the error is gone right now so what we here we did was we uh, signed a key to each and every element what if i make a repetition of elements here uh, then uh, as you can see here it is displaying that but here is uh, giving me a warning encountered two children with the same key two there shouldn't be any two elements with the same key in react list okay so keep in mind that one thing so we cannot use that so what if uh, there's uh, no unique uh, thing in my list or any of that sort so for let's take one another example to better understand all of this and let me keep that only and just change the name let's say user name Ravan and passion so photography and let's just copy it uh, several times let's say this is srp pixels passion is youtube and uh, yeah it's uh, react and its passion is components better yeah so we have written everything here and now what we can do here is, what we have to change here is uh, n dot name and then space and n dot passion and yeah, let's save it and run it yeah as you can see here uh, it is displaying the expected output it is giving the same error to us of the key Oh, and in this example you can see like uh, we do not have any uh, unique uh, I, unique attribute in our uh, list which can be set to uh, the key okay like uh, we do not have any id or of that sort we can do uh, one thing that we can uh, add this uh, id here but what if i in the database i don't have any of that sort then this map function provides you uh, one another attribute also you can just write here index and it will give you access to that index okay so here you just have to write uh, index and yes uh, let's see if the error is solved yes 
so the error is solved guys so what it basically does is uh, whenever the map uh, function uh, iterates through the whole list uh, it iterates like 0 1 2 uh, it's like that so the index value is uh, the same but let's also copy the index here and let me copy that also yeah sorry keyboard has gone wrong right now and yeah let's print the index and as you can see here uh, 0 1 2 it's printing also the index so we get access to uh, one uh, one attribute which is the data itself inside the map function and the second which is the index of that you can you have a choice if you want to use this index then uh, you can mention it otherwise if you will not mention it then it will not give you the access it's simple so let's understand why we need to use uh, keys uh, what is the importance of keys and why we should use keys so uh, let's take an example here as you can see here there are two another list present here uh, in this list uh, initially there were two elements savan and srp pixels and after that i want to insert one more element here which is a react so what uh, basically java's uh, react will do here is first of all it will check both the first elements they are same so it will not do anything then it will check a second element they are same then it will not do anything it will check the third element so it doesn't match up so it will just uh, change the list and update it with the react at the last okay so uh, where the problem arises here is that if i want to insert this react at the start of the list then if first of all it will check here savan and react does not match so it will replace it and it will change it then here srp pixels and sound does not match so it will again change it and here srp pixels and ul doesn't match so it will do that change again so it will not understand like these uh, two both elements are just shifted one step downwards it will change just uh, watch the both the way compare both the values and change accordingly so as you can see here uh, key is provided to both savan and srp pixels here uh, one is a one and here it is mentioned as two so whenever i e insert this uh, react at the start of the list it will just check the key that it is a different key and it will also check uh, both of these keys here and it will simply understand that uh, these uh, both videos are just uh, brought one step downwards and we have to insert this react at the start of the element so it will change only one of the element here and do not uh, do changes of all the elements and like we were doing if keys were not mentioned so that was all guys for the list and keys in react.js i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you did do share your views in the comment section down below and do subscribe to my channel that was all guys Thank you.